Streets in the capital Libreville and Porjonti, the second largest Gabonese city, seem to be calmer after crowds following the coup went to celebrate the end of Bongo's reign and chanting slogans against France. Now Mr. Ngima, who was installed by the Gabonese Military Council as transitional president, will be sworn in on Monday. First of all, I'm delighted because for so many years it's been really complicated. Now we're hoping that the new reforms will also bring us satisfactions in terms of the way we live and try to improve things. So we really expect a lot, a lot from them, that they erase everything that's happened, that they put things right on a new footing, and that it's the best it can be for everyone. Gabon's transitional president, General Bryson Gima, says the military group that ousted President Ali Bongo will take its time to conduct elections to avoid repeating mistakes of the past and pledge to restore republican and constitutional order through the establishment of electoral systems and a new constitution, the drafting of which will include everyone. The Transition and Institutional Restoration Committee is working to restore the dignity of the people of Gabon, and this undoubtedly passes through establishing strong institutions and organizing free, transparent, fair and credible elections that are subject to the will and sovereignty of the people. When I say strong institutions, this means a constitution that meets the aspirations of the Gabonese people, who have suffered for a long time. It was oppressed and torn apart. We must also review the election law. Canceling the results of the presidential elections, according to General Bryce Nguema, was a way to avert bloodshed and to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime, since the elections were overshadowed by a lack of international observers, raising concerns about transparency. And what about bloodshed that would have occurred if we had not intervened to stop this massacre? The elections were rigged. Yes, they were rigged. And I assure you that Ali Bongo did not win fairly, even in light of this tailored electoral system. Ali Bongo won through fraud. And that is why we decided canceling the election results. This cancellation applies to everyone, not just Bongo. And therefore, whoever considers himself a winner must wait for the next election and will get the same result of the votes. Everything we did was for the safety of our homeland and to spare bloodshed of the Gabonese. The coup has added concerns about a military takeover across the region, which has witnessed a coup since 2020. This coup in Gabon is yet another echo of growing wave of resentment towards former colonial power France and its influence in the region. Western powers who are trying to safeguard their strategic interests are warning that such military coups will have severe consequences, not only for Africa, but for other continents as well.